All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to leave a million city. We'll never come back here again. Now, we were going to do some grinding in uh, Diglett Cave, but I don't think that's necessary thanks to those two uh, rare candies I had. Because mm. I'm level 39 already. So, yeah. Indeed. Mm, quite. So Dave, is there any uh, ETA on when you'll be releasing the Ditto Lock? Um, yeah, I just want to have a nice little backlog before I uh, start releasing it. I got, a, I got, a, I finished up to um, Cerulean City so far, but I still want to have a little bit more than that. I figure by the time I actually start releasing it, I'll probably be in like Celadon. Ah. So I have, so I, just so I have enough of them that I can just upload them whenever I need them. It's probably not going to be a regular series either. It'll probably be going up on weekends. Can you sell Plus, items it's in, in this game, or do you have to all use them from your inventory? Um, you can't sell them. You have to just use them. You have to go in your inventory every time. That's one thing that they fix in Gen 2. A lot of the questions that you have regarding options that are that you know of in future generations, chances are the answer is no. You can't do that. <laughs> it's been so long since I've played Gen 1. Like an actual Gen 1 game and not the remake. Mm. So. Did I heal after that battle? No. Fuck it, we can make it to the Pokemon Center outside of the... outside of Rock Tunnel. Yo, this girl just basically said she was gonna rape me. She said, you have Pokemon, you're mine. I don't know how to feel about being raped by juniors. Oops. And the bitch is dead. Apparently I deceived her at some point. He's, he said, who's that? Hey, it's that walking with his good looking Pokemon. That would be me. I wanted to kill yours. And he gave me, okay, so he had fire type Pokemon and shit, and he gave me $420. Someone's blazing it up. And I'm probably at the point where I'm gonna be speeding through a lot of the regular trainer ba battles because I can just one shot them now. Yeah, uh. I mean, I wouldn't skip them just because it's free experience. No, I'm not, I'm, I'm saying like when I'm playing them. Oh, you mean like they won't be on camera? No, they're on, they're on camera. I'm just speeding them up. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Fuck this bitch and her meow. Now that I'm level 40, oh, we are just... We are, uh... We are fucking shit up. Right, so let's heal up here. And just in case you were just joining us for the Master Lock here, um, I do have a second Pokemon in my party, however, it is a HM Slave only, and if Dragonite were to faint, once again, that would be game over. For those of you thinking I, am ch I could possibly be cheating. Even though I'm sort of cheating with the money thing, but whatever. 
But, uh, yeah, here's gonna be one of the more interesting things that I do, because, well... We're doing Rock Tunnel without Flash! And I have no repels. Fucking hell. So, Dave, here's a, here's a question. Um... If you're still there, because you acquired the shit all of a sudden. I'm here. I was just I was just reading something while I'm playing Nino Kuni. Oh. Do they light up the stairs too? Uh, yes, they do. Okay. Uh, you'll be able to see where you're going. So. And even if they didn't, you know. But you can even look. You know, the stairs are lit up. Yeah, I've, I've realized that now. But at the time, I didn't see any. So. Bitches in their fucking oak starters. Does that mean they're all from Pallet Town? Yeah. Well, I'm killing a lot of trainers, so I don't know if that means I'm going the right way or not. Oh, damn it. Another trainer? How many trainers are in here? Um, there's actually quite a few. You're gonna get a little, little bit of experience out of that. I figure by the time you get done with everything in Celadon... Uh, cause that's really where you're going next. Um... Actually, I don't know. Do you, do you fight the rival first in the Pokemon Tower? Do I? Like, normally, when you play. Yes. Yeah, because you can here, too. Um, by the time you get done with everything, you're probably actually closer to level 50. By the time you're done with everything. I don't know if I'm going the right way anymore. You probably are. Just follow the walls and you'll be fine. Well, I'm still finding trainers, so I guess I'm doing something right. So, yeah, Rock Tunnel is kind of a boring place, there's not much to really say about it, is there? Yeah, Rock Tunnel, not a whole lot of interesting things here. The only interesting thing about Rock Tunnel is that, um, you're fighting a lot of, uh, campers. Uh, Pokemaniacs well, are introduced. Yeah, Pokemaniacs, uh, this is actually the first time you're introduced to Cubone. Yep. Um, but uh, you can't one. catch one here. Can't get which one here, but um, other than that, not really a whole lot. In Gen 3, there was a tutor here that could teach you Rock Slide, which was but nice. Dragonite, which was nice, but you can get it at uh, you can get it in Celadon City in this game, so it wasn't like it was that far off. Oh, the there are so many fucking trainers in here. Oh shit, I made it out. Alright. We did it. We are already out of Rock Tunnel. That did not take long at all. Oh fuck, this is bad. Dave, this is bad. What happened? 
I'm out of PP for Body Slam and Bubble Beam, and I'm fighting a Hiker. It's true. That's what... I mean... That's what you're gonna have to do. You have, like, 99-something potions with you, don't you? Fuck it, I'll use... I'll use another. I don't have the patience for that. Yeah, that, that might be your downfall. Well, I don't think it will be. You know, because... You can't buy those. That's fine. Unless you hack the game. I'm not gonna do that. I'll win without them. Right. The fact is, I would have to struggle for three fucking battles. So, no thank you. But yay, we're in Lavender Town! So, yeah. This has already been a much more successful Master Lock run than I thought I was going to have. I'm say. Heal again. So let's go kick the rival's ass real fast. Ah, yes. Yeah, is that right? The next the, rival battle is really easy. The very, very, very famous Lavender Town theme. And the very famous Lavender Town rival battle where the theory that his Rattata is dead is based on. Yep. It's, I think that's one of the few like really fan theories I can support, honestly. Yeah, it's the only one that actually seems legitimate, but of course, the game will never actually come out and say it. Nor yeah. will any, any actual Pokemon people come out and say it. Alright, so what is the particular order you have to do in Celadon again? Can I just go straight into the gym, or what? You can go straight into the gym. I usually do the, uh, the hideout first. Just because that extra EXP. Yeah. Probably what I'll do. You know? But if you're gonna do anything first, go to the Celadon department store first. Yes, of course. Because you want that ice beam. Secondly, um... You could also go to the restaurant to get the coin case and then buy all the coins you need to get Hyper Beam. Mm -hmm. By the way, um, let me just look real quick. Uh, Hyper Beam is... Hyper Beam is TM15. Alright. So... Down goes faggot. Also, one thing I've really found weird is how it, they really imply that Marowaks are extinct at this point in the game. Yeah. I just find that really weird. Well, I don't. Me. I don't think it's implied that they're extinct, but they do flat out say that the Marowak and Lavender Tower is straight up dead. Well, yeah, but they're also, you know, your rival is like, hey, uh, there are no Marowaks left. Like they're gone. Maybe he just means in the tower. Maybe. Either way, it's a weird implication, regardless. Well, either way, the fact that a Pokemon is actually dead... It's the only time this is brought up in the series, too. No, actually, it's not. Really? Um, there is a cemetery in Gen 3 as well as Gen 4. Oh, uh, well... It's the first time you fight a dead Pokemon. Yeah, it's the first time you actually see a direct case of a dead Pokemon. Yeah. But, um, there are Pokemon cemeteries in Gen 3 and Gen 4, I and, uh, and also you do go to Lavender Town in 2. 
I don't think there's one in Gen 5 at all. Or, oh, uh, remember one in Gen 6? But I could've just forgotten. And we're not paying attention. Wait, there is! There's a giant-ass graveyard in 6. Mm -hmm. It's fucking big as shit. Alright, we are now level 43! I'll be mean to your Clefairy all I want. Mike, when it comes to the store, we're talking about, um, getting Ice Beam. We know Hyper Beam is in the casino. Come on, Mike, listen to the actual commentary. I must speed up these training battles, because fuck it, they're just, it's just want me one-shotting Pokemon. They really want me to name a Rhino, uh, in this game? Nino Cunio we're talking about here, folks. A Rhino monster that I just captured? Is there really any other name I can name it? Rhyhorn? Hell no. If only I had enough room, but either way, this will still work. What are you calling it? Gore! Gore! Oh, pfft. My wrestling. My wrestling. Gore Gore is now your familiar. Last wants to die. I mean, fight. Blah 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 blah. All right, she's dead. Oh, level 44, wow, yeah, we are leveling up pretty, pretty quickly, actually. Mm-hmm. Well, with all the battles on the way to Celadon and, and, uh, you know, in Celadon itself, you're gonna get a lot of EXP. You're right. I find that when I play... This challenge, um, my level number is usually within range of, uh, the badge I'm on times ten. So oh, yeah. if I'm on bad, so if I'm on badge, if I'm getting toward, toward my fourth badge, my Pokemon is in the forties, you know. Yeah. Well, it doesn't happen as much later on in the game. But, like, between, uh, badge 4 through badge 7 or so? That's kind of what happens. Alright, so we need to go to the department store. Now we are in Celadon City. That's not the right building. So, uh, what floor do you get the stuff we need on? Um, the top floor. The top floor. You get two fresh waters, you said? Yeah. One for, um, the girl that you gotta give one to, and one for, uh, the, so you can get through to Celadon or to Saffron. And once you open that up, of course, that's a huge shortcut. And there's TM13. Alright, so what am I replacing? Uh, pressing Bubble Beam? You are gonna get. No, you are gonna get rid of Agility. You never used it anyway. Yeah. 
<coughs> so at least now you have three attacking moves. Four. Oh, four. So now you have four attacking moves. So what were we replacing with Hyper Beam? Um, Body Slam. Ah. Hello, Candonian. It's going pretty good, we're playing some Pokemans. Now where do I get the stupid thing for the casino? Um, there is a restaurant uh, in the south of Celadon. There is a guy who will be in the top left corner of the place. You gotta talk to him. Okay. My gem one is pretty rusty. Whereas since I've done this challenge plenty of times by now, I'm very familiar with where everything is. Yep. For the most part, I'm still a, r a little rusty in some parts of the uh, some parts of the game. But and we got overall, I know. Overall, I know where the important stuff is. Because when you do a Master Lock run, you tend to streamline a lot of it, and you don't you don't do the side stuff as much. How many fucking coins do I need? Um, over 5,000. Oh my god, he only sells them in... Where's the 5,000? Fucking uh, 50s. Um, yeah, 5,500 coins. Oh my god, that's gonna take forever. Well, you can always speed it up. That's what I'm doing. It's still taking forever. Yay for that unintentional super money cheat at the beginning of the run. So, yeah. After we get Hyper Beam, I'm probably gonna cut, and I'll we'll probably do one more video, and then I'm gonna call it. Yeah. Actually, I might call it after this one, looking at what time it is already. Yeah. So this is exciting! So exciting! Oh my god! Mashing this Z key. I see a cave. That I'll probably be going to afterward. Haha! Okay, where are we about pot prizes? Our next door? Yes. It's TM... 15. And yeah, you're probably going to want to cut it before you take on the hideout, because that is going to take a while. Yeah. Not going to take too long, but if you want to get as much experience as you can, yeah, it's going to take a few minutes. Alright, so let's complete the move set. So goodbye Body Slam, huh? Yeah, goodbye body slam. Are you sure we should keep bubble beam? Well, if you want to get rid of bubble beam now, go ahead. Or I mean, was did you have a plan to get rid of bubble beam later on? Yeah, we were gonna replace it with surf. Oh, well, all right, I'll get rid of body slam then. All right, so that is gonna do it for this play session of the my Pokemon. Dragonite Master Lock. We made a lot of progress in this one. Yes, we did. And Dragonite is starting to look a lot more like an actual beast. Yes. And if you're watching this on YouTube, it's probably been about a week since this live stream. And the best way to see all this stuff first is to follow me on Twitch. 
so yeah, you should do that. But thanks, Dave, for joining me for this session. We'll probably be in the. You could be in the rest of it too. I don't know. It depends. Probably. I, uh, I am the advice and Bulbapedia guy, so... Yes. So, but thanks for watching, guys. We will see you soon for more Pokemon Master Lock, and also the other projects on my channel, which include Madden 25, if you want to be fell in a football game, as well as Game Dev Tycoon. So, yeah. Later, bitches.